following screencast will demonstrate how to use the Acknowledge Epoch Analysis Routine. The Epoch Analysis Routine is a very quick way to extract a series of measurements from a data file. It's particularly useful when you've got many channels of data and you want to take several different measurements. In the sample file that I've got open here, we've got a blood pressure waveform with heart rate, systolic, diastolic, and mean pressure measurements. In this case, quite often, you're going to take different measurements from different channels. You come in, you highlight an area of data, and the measurement results are updated, and you can paste those down into the journal file or into Excel. It's also possible to automate this procedure by using the Find Cycle Peak Detector. But there is a nice tool located in the Analysis menu, Epoch Analysis, that will allow us to automate this process. I'm going to use a fixed time interval, and I'm going to take a measurement over a 10 second time window, and I'm going to start at the beginning of the graph, so at time point zero, and I'm going to take a measurement every 10 seconds. And I'm going to output my results to a spreadsheet, and I've already, already set up some measurement boxes here, so I'm taking the mean value from different channels, and I'll show you how this works. Basically, you have a, um, the same list of measurements that are available from the pull-down measurement boxes that appear above the graph window. And again, if I just select mean, we then ask to choose the channel we want to take the mean value from. And I'm going to select the mean blood pressure. So we'll get the mean of the mean blood pressure over a 10 second period. So now we've got four different measurements selected on four different channels. Select OK. And the software has gone through. It's analyzed the data. There's the epoch number, the time that the measurement started, and then the values for mean, systolic, diastolic, heart rate, and mean blood pressure. So with, that, with this particular analysis, it's much easier to go through automatically than have to highlight each period like so. If we come back into the setup, there's also an option here to trigger the measurements from events in the recording. So these events could be digital marks that are coming from Superlab or E-Prime, in which case you need to look up the type of event. So if it was a, a stim, it goes in there, and then we can say, well, we want to take our measurement before the event mark or after the event mark, and then select whether we want to paste into the journal or a spreadsheet, or whether we want to graph the measurements as new channels, or whether we want to do both. Journal and graph, or graph and Excel. So that concludes our demonstration of the Acknowledge Epoch Analysis routine.